Good morning all, it's the BMP, and welcome to Sigma Sunday. It's the first episode in a series where I talk about everything. Storm of Sigma, Sigma, AOS, Age of Sigma, painting wise, and like you've seen in my previous videos, first thing I'm going to be doing, as I've already already reviewed this box, and I'm going to start painting it. And I thought I'd start with these guys. Yeah, the two of the uh, Stormcast Eternal Retributors. See, I'm not <laughs> first time getting into Age of Sigma. I don't even know what they're called. So these have been built. I've left the shields off. Yeah, just so I can get to the detail when I paint inside. Sorry, inside there. Yeah, so I've left the shields off for obvious reasons. So I'm going to be painting him. He's been built and he's had a spray of Retributor armor all over. Now I'm going to do the purple on the armor. I'm copying the box as you can see. So I'm using Cantor Blue for it. But I presume that's the right colour. Instruction guide, guidebook. It doesn't really say what. Well, I suppose you can do any form. As long as it's blue, it doesn't really matter. So I'm going to use Cantor Blue. I've got this. Stormhair Silver, <coughs> excuse me. So I'm going to dry brush all around the edges very, very lightly. <coughs> then I'm going to give it a wash of Druky Violet. Now, a lot of people would use Agrax Earthshade or Seraphin Sepia, but I was online the other day with Wargamer Online and Sam, <coughs> excuse me, he recommended. Going purple because purple and gold surprisingly work well together so I'm going to give that a wash as well so this will be me having a general chit chat and so let's get started right let's move them out of the way paint a good shake before you start anything I'm going to be using my medium layer brush I've got my wet palette here, so we'll just put one on that. There's some in here. See, that's nicely thinned already. So I reapplied some water on the top of my wet palette because in the in the in the warm weather. It is actually um, drying quicker because I have the lid off and everything. So it, you know there's, there's enough water in there because the paint is just starting to bleed. And what I mean by that is it's just starting to separate on the top of the paint palette. So it is a good sign because you know it's watered down enough. So let's get started. Right, so according to that, it's the shield, the top of the shield and the loin cloth Trying to see what actually I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll get the war card the war scrolls out. We'll have a look at them, shall we? And there you go. We'll copy that picture, shall we? So we'll just put that back. I'll lean that. Oops. There. I'm just leaning it there and we'll just get started by copying that picture. So it is literally around the edge of that and these tabard things here. So as you can see, I'm bracing myself, bracing my hands, and yeah, that's it. So hope you're all doing well. Well, actually, cork. 
in that way, you have everyone has a natural oil in their fingers. But if you keep touching that, that will affect the paint on there. So this will have a wash. So what I'm doing, again, this is the first coat of Cantor Blue. I'm just having a look, make sure where the tab it is. I don't want to paint in the gold armor. So, hope you're all well. On this fine Sunday morning. I'm trying to be very careful. And getting the see this is an easy way to do it. You literally spray it gold and once you sprayed it gold let's do the tabard oh you can call it skirt. Tabard, I guess. Blue. These shield tops of the shields here. Blue. That bit's got to stay gold, so that's just a little smaller paint job in there. And axe as normal, or well, axe hammer as normal. Silver. Um, like a red colour for that. And. That's it, it's just little details after that. So, I like the way this blue's going on, nice and thin. I've thinned it some more. So, if you don't thin your paints enough, what you see is brush strokes in your paint on your miniature. Now, I learned that when I was painting a member of my wolf guard, my space wolves, for 40k yesterday. Well, if you can't see, I'm just getting underneath. That's it. Now, I was painting my wolf guard yesterday and um, started to do the yellow, a base of white, because the thing was already grey and while the yellow on top of grey because it would turn out right. So, I started that. And my paint was just obviously drying, but I, being an idiot, didn't realise I've got lovely brush marks all over my yellow. But luckily it is a test model, as you can see here. So not to worry. So I'm going to be... When I get these painted and all done and completed... I will actually be filming myself playing a game. I'm going to pop into my local games workshop and speak to Lizzie, the manager, and see what she says if I can if that's okay for me to go down and do a bit of filming. So you shall see. There we go. Pick that up there. Yeah. Um me. In my local games workshop. So that is entirely round there. Is blue. So I'm just gonna. Now what you'll notice me doing as well is washing my brush very often. That's because I don't want the paint to dry in my brush. Because that's where you get dry paint. Dry paint. That's where the brush strokes start to happen. You see what I've done now, just a little bit on the tip. You see? Just a little bit on that tip there. Just to go around the um, shoulder pad, shoulder guard. Take my time. This is water down, so this will need another coat. Don't 
don't worry about if you see patches it, I will be giving it another coat so try and keep the brush strokes going the same direction A little bit more paint. So what is everyone working on today? Stick it in the comments. Let me know what you're doing, what you're painting, what you do, what you're up to. I am always interested. So hope you're all doing good. I've figured out my giveaway when I reach 150 subscribers I have a little box down here and then my left leg and it is the giveaway prize now as I said before I will pay for the delivery and postage wherever you hail from I will pay for the postage for it to be delivered and when I do draw I will leave my email address so you'll just have to email me and um, obviously send me your details and then I will post said item to you so, yeah, it's down there. I won't tell you what it is. Well, I don't know. I'm not shy. Let me know. Whack it in the comments. See if you want me to. Should I let you guys know in what the? So I'm just looking at the picture. So that's the picture I'm going for, with. That one just there. I'll paint the shield. Yeah, well, that's quite a cool little. Yeah. See, on there, you've got. <coughs> Excuse me. Lightning strikes. White. Might try that. Don't know. But this is just an easy way to paint your Stormcast Eternal Liberators. Or the Foot Soldiers, I call them. <coughs> Excuse me. Right, so it's just this one and the trim of that, and that's going to be silver. We'll start on this side. Very carefully. So by the time I... Look at that, still in shot, sorry. So by the time I um, do this one... Hopefully, the other side be dry and ready for a coat. <coughs> Sorry, messages. Yes, all right. Sorry. I'm trying to get. As close to the arm uh, of the trim as possible without actually so always make sure you got a good point on your brush as Duncan from Warhammer TV says and put a little bit of paint on your brush and that way you control how much paint you've got on your brush at any one time. You're not overloading your brush. Just use the tip of your brush to paint. Like I said to you before, this is the way I paint it. This is my style. Everyone's style is different. You might paint quicker. You might paint slower. But 
that's the way. The odd paint. Just take my time. A little bit of an anvil thingy there, so I'm gonna do that gold. Leave that. I'm just going to get all the base colours down, both coats, first and second. Coats down, I've just turned it upside down. See, what I'm doing is I'm moving the model to suit my brush strokes. Yeah? If you're happy painting a certain way. Then do it. Yeah? Don't try and change the angle of your brush if you're not happy with it. So you don't try and do this. You'll make mistakes. Take your time. See, that's that coat done on there. Now what I'll do, I'm going to go back across to the tabard, or these things, well. And what it's called. Again. Thin dome paint on the brush. Just giving it a second coat. You want as thin as paint as possible, but not too transparent, because war, you'll be applying coats forever. And the reason why we do this is that way you don't hide any of the detail. Don't worry if you make a little mistake like I've just there. Just on the trim the tip there. So just wash that off. Give it a little wipe. Come on. And we'll get a little bit more paint. Yeah, if you've got any questions, I'm doing my QA video next week. One next Friday. If you've got any questions, put them in the comments. I'll be doing my QA and I would think Probably a week after that, I will be doing a, my first live stream, and it'll be literally me sitting here painting. Yeah, so you'll just, just literally hear my voice and try and figure out how to do it first because I've never done a live stream before. Let's put the camera the other way and do a live stream through YouTube. And um, that way, we'll still see any comments or any questions come below, come down. Yeah, and that's the second coat of blue on that, just a little trim there. Just using the point of the brush, nothing else. Let's get in there. See? I mean, I'm no expert painter, but I, because my style is me taking my time, oh, you don't have to rush things. I don't. Once I get this coat on here done, that'll be it. But what I'll do is I've got some models to spray. Just over there, I'm going to spray all my 
the rest of the enemy, Bloodhounds, whatever they're called, Blood Reavers. But I'll paint these to completion and then I'll start on my other ones because it's a little bit more not challenging because you've got flesh to do and you can't just give out one coat like these. It's the Bugman's Glow, as you all know, it's Bugman's Glow, a wash, Cadian Flesh Tone, all that sort of jazz to get the flesh right. Because flesh, you can do it two ways. You can go the zombie style sort of flesh, like the Rakar flesh. With a, like a purple wash. You can wear the wash you like, really, to be honest. But these, I'm going to go with purple wash. And just turn the model to suit my painting style. There you go. Now I can see, just brace myself on his head, make sure I'm still in the camera shot. Just there. And wash that off. Plus if you keep washing your brush off, it keeps you, the brush moist with water, therefore adding to the smoothness of the paint. You see, that blue's done. I'm going to transfer to. I should be able to do that in that. I've just seen a major faux pas. I'm going to have to paint that gold. You didn't see that. Right, so it's now the trim. Now, for the trim, you don't have to be as neat simply because. This in there is going to be silver with a base silver, so that will cover up any blue that I hit. <coughs> Excuse me, yeah, just take my time. Just around the edges, tip the brush again. I always stop, I always stop every, I don't know, part of paint, like uh, for example, if I paint his leg, I'll stop and have a look at the model to, um, to see where I am, see where I'm painting. See, that's not working for me. Brilliant. Now, I know that side's done, so I'll literally just go back across. That side. Sorry, the message friend of mine. Hope you guys went to the nerd room. Fantastic little group. I will tidy this up. So that is that. Blue on that done. How long we got? Oh, 24 minutes. We shall um, do his shield. So I'll just put him to one side. You see, that's the blue done on him. I've got lightning strike there, so that's going to be silver. So when I do the silvers, 
That will be the head of the hammer. The... Do, do, do. Chain mail. And the, any lightning strokes he's got there. So that. Well, the back of that I've got to do blue. Missed that. Hold on a minute. I shall. Alright, I the blue. Cover up that. Made a mistake there. I thought that gold would cover it, but it hasn't. Again, taking your time around your shield. And just push them. I'm not painting in here. I'm just pushing my brush up to there. Just around. Turning. See how thin that is there? That's the sort of consistency you want. Because that way, you're not seeing brush marks. Yeah? I'm trying to be as careful as possible. Also, um, on my tips video, I did forget to mention, I can't remember if I put it in the tips or not. But when you're painting, you'll get to a point when you're painting and you'll think, oh, I've got all this lot to do. And then you'll you'll realise as you are painting, you'll become you'll get to a point where You will, I don't know how to explain it. It's like you'll get to a point where you'll think, oh, I've got to do all this lot yet. Stop. So you get to a point where you think, oh, or well, you're painting and it's not quite working out. You start to make little mistakes of creeping into your paint. Stop. And just walk away from it. Go have a coffee, have a cup of tea, a drink, whatever. Whatever floats your boat. And what that will do, that will refresh your muscle memory, as they call it. So I'm just trying to get in here. Again, I'm just pushing my brush up to it. You won't make a mistake on that. You'll you can cover that because that's going to be just get a little bit of gold and highlight that. So that's going to cover that, and that's going this is going to be white anyway. Yeah. So you don't have to do this blue. You can do whatever colour you like because they're yours. And there are so many liberators came down to fight chaos. Then you can do them whatever colour you like. Purple armour, purple shields, whatever you like really. It's your colour, it's your choice. I just give this a second coat while I'm the last few minutes because my phone only lets me if I film through my phone you see and only lets me get up to 30 minutes I'm about 28, 27, 28 as it is and I don't want to redo this because I'm doing this before I have to go to work 
So I've got to leave little brush marks. I'm just brushing downwards. Try and keep the way you brush the same way. So this might have to have a third coat <clears throat> of water to paint that much. And you see, that's not a problem. If you want to give it a third coat, give it a third coat. Shields are the best to practice your the thinner your paint because there's no real detail to cover. Yeah? So you've got to practice um, how thin to make your coats. Use a shield. It's that simple. Yeah? See, I've gone over there, but I'll re highlight that anyway. Yeah, because there's no actual detail to cover on a shield. It's a flat surface. Then do it. Practice your the thinning of your paints. Yeah. It's like if you grab a tank, grab an old tank rhino or something like that. It's got a large flat surface. Practice. So all people need to do when they first start this hobby is practice. That's all it takes. The more you practice, the more muscle memory you will become. See, look, that's going to be all tidied up anyway. But that's the blue done. So I'll just quickly go around the edge. This has got to be I'm going to edge all this anyway up to around the edge here. There you go. So that's simple. So I hope you've enjoyed the video. I'm going to go around that with gold anyway, so I don't got to worry about making any mistakes. Because it's the lower paint apart. Yeah? So then the paint above it, that's what I mean by inside out. Inside is the lower part of the armour, outside is the raised surface. So that's the lower. So you paint the inside, the lower. Then the outside is a bit on top. Yeah. So, have a little tip. But yes, yeah, so I hope you've enjoyed the video. It's been fantastic. It's now coming up to 32 minutes. A bit of a long winded video, but 30 minutes. Some people can knock them out quicker. But I'll have to take my time. I'm in no hurry. <coughs> so. Yeah, so I have hope you you have enjoyed the video. Um, like, comment, and subscribe. There will be more in next week's video. It will be the shading and the highlights. So I'll try and have all these shaded by next 